everyone. This is Jackie Cooper with Crypto Mom 2 Talk Show. And today I will be talking about something that we all need to know about, which is taxes. Uh, before I get started, though, I wanted to let you know that um, I recently came back from the Bitcoin 2022 conference in Miami, and I'm really excited to be um, sharing throughout the week and as we go on uh, updates about people that I've met and information that I learned. It was a great conference. There were over 20,000 people there. I was volunteering. I was on the Bitcoin mining stage, on the open source stage, in the exhibit area, I met people from Bitcoin magazine. Um, I met whales. I, you know, it was a phenomenal conference. Um, it was great time for everyone, a lot of learning and a lot of great information. But today we're going to be talking about taxes. And this is something that we all need to know about in the United States. So um, the accounting firm that I uh, use, um, they sent this uh, information guidance um, piece to um, all their clients. And so I'm going to share information with you. I am going to be um, discussing this, reading a little bit. It's going to be on my audio as well as the visual on the YouTube side. I definitely want you to remind you to definitely like and subscribe because as we go through the various things, um, I'll be dropping more uh, information and, and shows re relevant to this as well. All right, so the um, IRS Form 1040 Virtual Currency Question Guidance. Again, many of you might have already filed your taxes or you might have um, be filing an extension, um, but this is good for any time that you are doing this because again, it's really important for us to keep up with this. So the in the news release dated March 18, 2022, which is just last month, um, you know, this is April right now, the IRS issued a reminder and guidance to help individual taxpayers answer the virtual currency question on page one of the form 1040. Individual taxpayers payers must check yes or no in response to the question. And the question is this: at any time during 2021, did you receive? sell, exchange, or otherwise dispose of any financial interest in any virtual currency? This question should not be left blank. Now, the big question in my mind is how do they define virtual currency? Let, so let's check this out. Taxpayers can check the no box if they did not hold virtual currency in 2021 or when their activities were limited to holding virtual currency in their own wallet or account. I'm going to repeat that. Holding virtual currency in their own wallet or account. Transferring virtual currency between their own wallets or accounts. I'll repeat that. Transferring virtual currency between their own wallets or accounts. Purchasing virtual currency using real currency, including purchases using real currency, electronic platforms such as PayPal or Venmo. Again, I'll repeat that. Purchasing virtual currency using real currency, including purchases using real currency, electronic platforms such as PayPal or Venmo. Engaging in a combination of holding, transferring, or purchasing virtual currency as described above. So taxpayers can check no if they did not hold virtual currency in 2021 or when their activities were limited to what I just read to you, which is also on my YouTube channel, which is why it's important for you to subscribe. So that way you can see what it is that I'm also sharing with you. Taxpayers check the yes box when their activities in 2021 include one or more of these common transactions and virtual currencies. The receipt of virtual currency as payment for goods or services provided. The receipt or transfer of virtual currency for free without providing any consideration that does not qualify as a bona fide gift. The receipt of new virtual currency as a result of mining and staking activities. The receipt of virtual currency as a result of a hard fork. An exchange of virtual currency for properties, good or services. 
and exchange trade of virtual currency for another virtual currency, a sale of virtual currency, any other disposition of a financial interest in virtual currency. Please note that the list above is not comprehensive and there may be other transactions in 2021 that would lead the taxpayer to check the yes box. All right, I'm gonna keep going down. There were um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lists, nine stated reasons for the yes box while there were only one, two, three, four transaction reasons for the no box. All right, additional guidance. The taxable sale exchange disposition transfer of any virtual currency that was held as a capital asset through the transaction date as reported on form 8949 to figure the capital gain or loss realized and reported on schedule D of form 1040. If a taxpayer received any virtual currency as compensation for services or disposed of any virtual currency that they held for sale to customers as a trade or business, they must report this income as they would report any other income of the same type, for example, W-2 wages, inventory of services, income from a business on a Schedule 3. All right, so these were the, uh, that was the information guidance on a virtual currency question. I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to me. I'm happy to um, share with you names of accountants that I know who are working in this field. Again, this show is not financial advice. You definitely have to do your own research. Um, and like with anything else on the blockchain, you need to invest at your own risk. But um, this is important information and I will be dropping other shows. Definitely like and subscribe. So that way you can find out more about what happens at Bitcoin 2022 and other relevant topics, both on the blockchain, uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin mining, metaverse, NFTs, and so much more. And also, I just want to let everyone know that um, you need to go to www.bitcoincinderella.com. I've written a book and Bitcoin Cinderella is for every age. Um, it's especially great for adults who want to have a conversation with their children about what blockchain and Bitcoin is. It's a fun read and um, you also have access to free online resources as a result of um, getting the book and reaching back out to me uh, because I believe in education. And so Bitcoin Cinderella is a fun story for every age. Um, all right. So message me with any questions at Crypto Mom 2 consult at Crypto Mom 2 Consulting at gmail.com and like and subscribe and I will chat with you later guys. Bye. Have a great day. Remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. We're all one world and we're all interconnected. Have a great day.